uh, the first impression, it looks pretty stunning. It felt very distant, very robotic. No, how are you? Or how has your day been? That everything I touch breaks down, whether it was the iPad or the water tap. Today, we are flying the brand new all business class airline Beyond. And while it looks all stunning and luxurious, it leaves a lot to be desired when I disembark the plane in the Maldives. So let me show you the ups and downs of the latest international airline on Can our way to paradise. And, uh... Guys, another day, another flight review taking beyond the new all business class airline today, trying to find out whether it's money well spent or not. Let's do this, let's check in. Our trip starts in Munich, one of three destinations the airline serves within Europe. I met a highly motivated station manager at a check-in counter and at the same time I was told that there are only four passengers booked on today's flight. My one-way ticket to the Maldives cost me $2,222. Lounge access is included in your fare and I treated myself to some good German sausage and a pretzel. So I just arrived to the gate. I wanted to give you a first glimpse of the all black beyond Airbus A319, but unfortunately we have a remote gate now. There was a last minute change. However, what I like about it, it's all about communicating these matters. And the station manager literally is going to each individual guest and informs them and briefs them about the gate change, about the possible delay because the plane is coming in late. That's what we like, you know? And here we are, welcome on board the plane everybody is talking about in the aviation industry. The all business class Airbus A319. Do you think this concept can survive or are they running out of cash very soon? Let me know in the comment section below. So guys, and here we are, welcome on board the Airbus A319 of Beyond. 44 seats in a 2-2 configuration, all business cars. Uh, the first impression, it looks pretty stunning. When you walk into a cabin and you only see live flat bats, that something very unique and it gives you that luxury feeling, especially if you consider that this plane used to fly for EasyJet for 20 years during the budget life and now they converted it into this luxury bird. So we are just heading to the runway and once we are airborne, I'm going to give you my first impression of the crew, of the service, of the gadgets, so stay tuned. So guys, and here we are, we just reached cruising altitude and uh, I want to share my feelings with you, what it was like to get on board, what your crew was like um, and uh, of course it's a beautiful hard product but it doesn't worth much if the soft product doesn't match it. Okay, we have to keep in mind this is a new airline, they're still learning, uh, they're still getting used to uh, this concept so we are very forgiving today. However, when I walked in here, it felt very corporate, it felt very distant, very robotic, no, how are you, or how has your day been um, for an airline that says, oh, we offer a beyond experience. Um, it didn't match this slogan. Then they also come and dump all those uh, beautiful gadgets, such as like uh, Beats, headphones, iPad, but they don't explain you how to operate them or how to connect them. Um, and also the amenity kit was given to me and it was open. So it's about the little details. There is a card in front of you that explains you how to connect all the gadgets. Because if I, for example, think of my mom, she knows nothing about tech and she would be absolutely overwhelmed and would not know how to operate that stuff. So the right way of the crew would be 
to leave the stuff here and offer some assistance? Do I have to explain you how it works? Do I have to talk you through this? So this enhances the experience and that would probably be the right thing to do. Also given that we have a very light load for passengers, which means one crew for each passenger, um, I feel that the service could be a lot more personalized for now and uh, given that the price tag of 3,000 to 4,000 uh, euros for this flight is quite high the expectations are high as well so but before I talk you through all the gadgets and all that kind of stuff um, let me talk you through the dining experience which just kicked off I was given a menu and uh, well you'd think on beyond it's all about the details but it says Munich to Riyadh, which is a little bit confusing. Um, so the crew came, took my order, and let's say I fly on Emirates or uh, Cafe or whatever. So business class generally, and even the station managers that, they approach you with your name. So they wanna make it a more personal experience, like, so Mr. Cahill, or how can I address you? Um, none of that happened um, as well. You know, it's a, it's a flight review. We're gonna go into the details. We are gonna take the product apart. Uh, that's not nitpicking or anything like this, but this is uh, what, what flight reviews are all about, right? We go deep into the details uh, just to give you a, a comprehensive review of what it's like. Uh, also, she took my order. I asked uh, that I would like to have a coffee for dessert. Coffee was served right with my starter. Also a little bit confusing, but um, the presentation, the tableware looks all really spot on. So let's see what it tastes like. So the starter was pretty decent. Now we are on to the main lamb cutlets with um, potatoes. In terms of presentation, it looks very beautiful. It looks amazing. Uh, let's hope it tastes the way it looks like. The food was solid, but at the same time, nothing really extraordinary and rather on the dry side. So I promised you we'd talk about all the gadgets that you get. So instead of a built-in entertainment here on Beyond, um, they hand out an iPad, as you can see right here, with some pre-installed movies. And what I find uh, pretty cool as well, you get those Bose headphones. I had a pair of these ones. The sound quality is pretty amazing. Also noise canceling. So one thing you can tell about Beyond is that a lot of very smart and passionate people came together to really create an amazing product. It's all about the details and this is what I love about this. So, Unfortunately, there was a lot of troubles pairing my headphones with the iPad and it wouldn't connect. Even the new set I received didn't work so I decided to go to sleep instead. However, another problem I noticed was that the lights at the seat panels can't be switched off and it gets very bothersome if you are sensitive to lights. Also, the green lights on the seats is super bright at night and it does create some sort of Christmassy atmosphere. I spoke to one of the crew members about it and they said that many guests have raised this issue and they are currently working on that matter. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, a must-have tool for any traveler and frequent flyer. By using a VPN, you surf the internet safe and anonymously, especially when using public Wi-Fi. And you get around censorship all around the world, whether you want to use Instagram in China, use WhatsApp calls in Dubai, or consume TikTok in India. Or watch adult movies in the Middle East. And it also works on all your devices, but let me show you my favorite pack. Finding cheaper flight deals by changing my IP address to a low-income country, saving me plenty of dollars every year. But also, as a huge sport fan, I can watch my favorite football team from all around the world or access different libraries on Netflix by using Surfshark VPN. So, and by using the link in the description box below or using the code Josh Cahill, you will get three additional months for free which is an absolute great offer so go check it out and now let's go back to the review after a few hours of solid sleep i was unfortunately not able to freshen up since the water tap was broken on the plane and also no hot towels were given out something you would expect on an all business class airline However, we then started our approach into Dubai World Central for a technical stop and to change the crew before we continue to Mali.
there. So guys, and here we are. We landed at uh, Dubai World Central. Just reached our parking position. And how am I going to summarize uh, the first part of the journey? It's been a tricky one, right? And I don't want to be like overly critical. It's a new airline. It's a startup. They're still trying to figure things out. Um, yeah. But from my perspective, it was a little bit unfortunate that the iPad and none of the headphones were working for me um, as well as there's no running water, which sounds like a little bit annoying since you want to freshen up after a bit of sleep. So, yeah, and uh, got to be honest, in over 600 flights, I've had that only once. And that was on Tunis Air. And you don't aspire to be like them. Um, it's a little problems here and there and uh, I hope they can fix them but I've also paid a full fare you know so um, for some this might be really really annoying and I don't know how from here onwards whether they're gonna fix the running water because I think it's also a bit irresponsible to operate a plane hey thank you for everything hey eh? bye bye so yeah I don't know how it's gonna uh, go if we continue with broken tap or not um, I think that's something we have to figure out um, and then also looking forward what the second part of the journey looks like we have a new set of crew who are going to take you with me to the Maldives now obviously as well so this is exactly what you need if you don't have running water a hot towel um, I think that's something I would have appreciated um, before we start our descent you know there should be a hot towel before takeoff a hot towel uh, before landing um, it's, and it's just very refreshing um, that's very good and the new crew does what the second crew didn't do there's a guy Richie came here introduced himself and uh, took those few minutes to get to know me and the other passengers so I do think that we are off to a good start crew wise for the second flight so in an all fairness before we continue to Mali I need to point out that the cabin manager from the first flight was very apologetic about my experience and we were joking around that it seems that everything I touch breaks down whether it was the iPad or the water tap but she did acknowledge the fact that things weren't going the way they were supposed to and uh, however the cabin manager was like we do have your special meal loaded and I was like huh? <laughs> never in my life have I requested like a special meal so apparently uh, there was some hiccup on their system or something that apparently I ordered one but I said uh, I'd rather have the omelette <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast Next on the agenda is the Beyond Amenity Kit and when I was handed the Amenity Kit it was wide open like this um, and I think I know why because there's no toothbrush in there which is generally the most important item in, uh, in an Amenity Kit but probably somebody helped themselves and uh, she gave me just a used Amenity Kit but I'm gonna ask the crew because when I went to the loo there was no amenities there like toothbrushes and stuff so I suspect that that is what happened but uh, I'm sure we're gonna find out I just want to double check with the crew before I talk some nonsense and uh, but let's have a look inside and indeed when I asked the crew about it they said they're apparently out of toothbrushes for whatever reason something I find very odd to be honest but it is what it is It was then time for good breakfast and we started off with a salmon starter, which was okay, followed by an omelette. While I think that the food is solid, it doesn't necessarily blows my mind. And so far, the whole flight experience, while comfortable and very pleasant, didn't give me any wow factor and doesn't really put any regular business class product to shame.
So guys, beautiful good morning. I slept really well, so the bedding and uh, the comfort of the seat are definitely given. I'm also going to give you a full summary of today's experience once you're on the ground. So here I am at my small little hotel with a beautiful view. Look at this. Unfortunately, I'm not going to any of the resorts. I'm just staying for one night. I'm going back to Sri Lanka tomorrow after five weeks of traveling. Very much looking forward to sleep in my own bed. Um, I think I said everything that needed to be said. Uh, there's a lot of room for improvement and I mean, if they already struggle with four passengers, it might be a very different ball game when they have full flights. Uh, but it's 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 their first months of operation, so I'm happy to provide feedback, and I can see the concept to function, to work, and to, it to be a success, because from all the little details and how much how much energy and time they invested in this, uh, I'm very hopeful that the right people are at the right jobs. And uh, yeah, but it just needs some time. They need to get feedback. They need to listen to their customers and to define the experience a little more. Um, but as I said, I gave all my thoughts um, in the video and this should be it for now I'm gonna get some good sleep and I might head to the beach which is just downstairs beautiful and uh, also if you want to have some extra perks check out the patreon link in the description box below join my whatsapp group have your name in the credits or get the K Hill key ring uh, yeah but this is it let me know in the comment section below what you think of beyond are they, go are they here to stay or will they fail with their whole concept We'll find out but let me know what you think in the comment section below this is it i'm gonna get some sleep so guys wherever you're off to have a safe trip